Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 3.40 p.m. on May 27, 2023, traveling towards downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 19 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I travel for 7.6 kilometers, starting by the transit bus stop at Granville and Drake, then shall northeast on Granville, board the Expo Line SkyTrain at Granville Station, then ride the train southeast to Nanaimo Station, ending my trek at the station. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforswood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Next stop, Drake Street. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here on uh, Granville Street right now. Just got off the number four Powell bus and we'll be strolling down the strip here. The Tequila Concia. Oh, it's relatively busy. That's no, nice to see. We're approaching Davy Street. <laughs> Just past the two pairs bar. So we're at the intersection of Granville and Davy. And this neighborhood is known as uh, Vancouver's Entertainment District. A lot of bars and nightclubs in the area. So this is a regularly a vibrant street at night. Of course there's more popular areas like Granville that blow up even more during the weekends on uh, the Google Maps.
inspiration. So we'll continue here on Granville Street. Heading in a northerly direction. Coming up to Hell Mackin Street here. I'm just passing the Edge Social Grill and Lounge. It's connected to one of the best Western hotels. This is the intersection of Hell Mackin and Granville. This area attracts a lot of uh, young adults and youth to the area, particularly young adults, because it is more of a drinking-focused culture over here. And there's lots of good food in the area as well. And most of the restaurants you visit, if you go on in, have a nice pint and uh, a drink or whatever you want to do. Like, here's O'Donnellan's right here. Um, usually come out with a pretty good experience. So we'll continue here, just passing the rock shop. <laughs> Seems to be rock shops all over the country. You can even find them in Kitchener, Ontario. <laughs> And the Granville Strip. That's not open right now. That'll be open later tonight. Sure is busy last night though. I look at the cigarette butts on the street. And they clean up after themselves too. So they'll be doing that again. Can't stop people from smoking there after you've closed the bar and your employees have gone home. Just passing the same sun, which is a backpackers hostel. And here is Hotel Belmont up here. And it has the living room in it, which is a, a local bar. It's got some good deals. I'll let you assess that. Alright, not in the living room, the basement. <laughs> I think the living room might be in Toronto. I'm mixing things up. I'm sorry folks. <laughs> This is the intersection of Nelson and Granville. And the Flamingo Cafe is across the street. That looks kind of new. I'm sure it was there before, but uh, at least it's got a new sign. Who knows? <laughs> Who really knows? I'll we'll keep walking north here in Granville. And we're passing the Vogue Theater. Looks like they're advertising for the past right now with the Aleph and his orchestra played on May 23rd. <laughs> That's May 27th now. <laughs> I guess the show is good. <laughs> I just wanted to leave that up. 
Here's the local Roxy dealer. Some guy just said, do you want to buy some weed? If you're going to buy it from someone sitting on the street, like a homeless person, I'd uh, recommend going to a legal store instead. Generally that stuff's covered in crack and stuff like that. Much harder drugs, fentanyl, just to make sure that you come back to them. So this is the intersection of Granville and Smythe. And there's Mr. Vape, Smoke, and Bombs. Which is a convenience store. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the lineups are back at Brandy Melville. I know this place. Now it's getting worried there for a minute. Last two weeks have been kind of slow. There's a store entrance right there. They're just as busy as those lineups in Toronto. And I'm sure there's a lineup on Queen Street right now. Okay. Near Queen and Sabadina, and there Brandy Melville having a long lineup too. Over here is the Commodore Bowling and Billiards. You can go down there, enjoy some bowling. And it's part of the Commodore ball Ballroom chain. It's a fully licensed lounge, so you can have a beer there too. Isn't that cool? Some bowling and a beer. And you can get munchies. The only other bowling alley I'm aware of is uh, Grandview Lane, so that is over on Commercial Drive. So if you happen to know other, any other bowling alleys in the area, whether they be in Vancouver or any of the adjacent cities, just put that in the comments. Sure, everyone would be interested to know. Looks like the Lennox pub over here is pretty busy. So we gotta stop here. We're at Granville and Robson Street. And Granville now transitions from a lot of bars to less bars and more restaurants and stores. Still being the major retail strip that it is. And we'll continue north on Granville here. Man, a pop-up stands and stalls is growing. I love it when that happens. I'm not sure if it's legal or not, but that's not my worry. <laughs> selling crafts is better than selling drugs, even if you try to hide behind a common estate supply. <laughs> sure. I will keep walking here. Over here you got Ricardo's Candy Corner. It's like a ball corner of candy. So if you're a sweet tooth, definitely some place to go on it. And then you got your sushi shop and your trees and your fat burger. So there's lots of different options.
they and me are having a toss up between whether we should go to Fat Burger tonight or if we should go to Triple O's. And then he said, let's go to Down Low. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. But and if we come up to Granville Street here, we'll have plenty of choices. <laughs> I thought maybe we should go over to, to the Yale Town Brewery and get a flight. He thought that was a good idea too, so we'll see. We'll see. Really depends also on how tired he is because he's doing the weekend shift right now, so. Either way, we'll do something. <laughs> And we just crossed West Georgia and we're continuing on Granville here. Approaching Granville Station. Let's dip on in there. Want to go a little further east today. Film a few more videos for you folks. So this entrance will take you to the Expo Line. Sounds like we got a busker in here. Interesting, horn player. Hmm, maybe bluegrass. Like he stopped. <laughs> yeah, such as they. This is one very, very steep escalator. <laughs> okay. And if you head that way, you've got a waterfront station. But I want to go this way. This will take me over to Stadium Chinatown Station. A Main Street Science World Station and Commercial Drive Station and then Nanaimo and a whole bunch of other stations like 29th and Joyce Collingwood. I'm sure I'm missing something. <laughs> There's me folks, hey. <laughs> Didn't intend for the camera to turn around, but every once in a while that happens. <laughs> it's two clicks. It's, sometimes, it's three clicks to turn it. And sometimes I actually do three clicks. 
No harm, no foul. At least you get to see someone that someone really is behind the camera. So there's two different routes you can take here. You can take a route that will take you over to New Westminster. And you can take a route that will take you over to Surrey. So there's plenty of options. I don't generally get all the way out to Surrey because it usually takes like over an hour. And that's pretty quick to be honest with you. Like, these trains are not slow. They're pretty quick. So it just is what it is. Squash bugs there. Train to King George. And the 
next station I believe is a commercial Broadway station. But uh, we're gonna get off at Nanaimo station and head on over to Kingsway. I haven't been there in a while. Broadway bus and then it'll take you all the way over to here at Commercial Broadway Station. I'm just gonna go one more station over.
are starting to pick up. And of course not too quickly because we're pulling in Nanaimo station right now. Excuse me? Excuse me? Here, come in here. Excuse me? Excuse me? Train to King George. <laughs> yeah, well, it'd be nicer if I didn't have to push my way off. Anyways, folks, uh, thanks for coming along and uh, watching this video. And uh, just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.